Okay, so you have the signature and you have the cover. Now you just want to put them together. The thing that's different about these, oh, well, there's a couple of different things about these um, from other regular journals. One is that there's just one single signature. That's going to make it a lot easier, but it does make it different for binding. The other thing is that you want to put a little ribbon to hang the ornaments up. So we're going to start with doing the ribbon. Choose which way you want to be facing up. And for these, it does not really matter. So I'm just going to poke a hole right at top, the top there. Poke a, poke a hole right at the top. So I have already made my template with my three holes down the middle. And the hole that I just made is higher than the top hole here. So I know that the ribbon won't get in the way of the binding. It is okay to use this top hole as the ribbon. Let me see. The same as the ribbon. Let me see if I have one. Yes. So all of these red ones that I've already made, I've bound them. And then the top hole is where I put the hanging ribbon. So the ornaments will be able to hang from there just fine. But then I just found it a little bit easier to go ahead and just put the ribbon on to begin with on first and then bind it separately. So I'm going to get a piece of ribbon, choose how long you want the hang to be and do a little bit more than double that so that you're able to fit it all through. In needle, sometimes I think it's funny. I need a needle to get my ribbon through the needle to get my ribbon through the book. <laughs> But I don't really. <laughs> I was able to get it through just fine. All right, so I pulled it through like that. And then you can tie it, you can glue it, however you want to secure it down. If you made it your ribbon long enough, you can even secure it down with the binding of the actual book, which I might be able to do for this one. So then I get my template and I line it up. Then take my awl and I make the holes where the template holes are all the way through the binding. Be careful of your fingers. Make sure you're, you're not going to hurt yourself because that hole or that awl is pointy for a reason, but it is. That reason is not to poke your hands. All right, now I'm going to poke through just poke through the the top part there and then I'm going to pull the ribbon on top of the owl like that and then push it that all the way through like that so now when I go ahead and bind it when I bind the signature on then I am going to be able to secure the ribbon on as well. And then I don't have to do any extra knots or anything. I'm just going to put my needle through that hole that I just made to keep the ribbon in place. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the all holes through my signature. So before I do that, I just want to make sure that everything is aesthetically in the right direction so like I sewed it together already so it could be bound so we can could trim it but I found that in some of them I accidentally put in a page upside down so I just want to double check and make sure like the music page is not accidentally upside down because sometimes it's easy to when you're going really fast and doing 40 at a time to get them backwards but everything looks good here so I'm going to take my awl and my template, just rest my template right in the center of that binding there. And even though it's already sewn, you can still push the awl all the way through like that. I'm going to get my piece of linen thread. You can use ribbon also to bind your signature in especially because this is just going to be an ornament. It's not going to be one that you write in fre very frequently. 
um, you can have a little bit more liberties on what kind of string you use to bind the book. If you're like most people, they uh, take their ornaments out maybe the day after Thanksgiving and put their ornaments back sometime like January 6th-ish at the latest. And then all the other parts of the year, the ornaments are in storage, so they're relatively safe. So it's okay to, to take a little liberties on something that's more decorative than functional. All right, so now I'm gonna just do a regular three hole pamphlet stitch which is to go down through the center, hold on to the tail. I'm going to go up to the top first because that's where that ribbon is. So I'm going to go from the outside of the spine to the inside. Along the way, I'm going to get that first ribbon and I'm going to get the second ribbon. And I'm going to get the top hole of the signature, pull it all the way through, and then hold on to this tail here. So when you pull this all the way through, you don't accidentally pull your string all the way. And then go skip the middle hole, go all the way down to the bottom. Go all the way through to the outside, pull through. And go from the outside in on the center one, even though there's a thread there already, you still want to do that. And then go all the way through like that. Then remove your needle. I like to put it on the thread again so that I don't lose my needle. And then take this. Make sure that the strings are on either side of the either side of the center string. Pull it tight, and then tie your Kelly knot. Right, and now you have a bound hanging ornament where you can write all sorts of things in and put pictures in. And I will show different ways to use these as well. So I'm going to show a different way to bind them, which is uh, something that I'm doing for these. These are the glittery ones. And I'm using my sewing machine. For these, the glittery ones, I already poked a hole and I tied my ribbon. So I just did a triple knot with this ribbon. And now I'm going to take my signature and I'm going to just straight stitch it in. So first I'm going to do that little quality control thing where I make sure everything is right side up or facing in a direction that I want it to because some of them are going to be sideways like that one. But like this one, there's some words there that you want to make sure are upright or else it'll just feel like you made a mistake or, you know, not everyone is going to think of it as a mistake, of course, but some people might, and most of all, you might when you are selling them. Now I have to make the decision of whether or not I want to keep this uh, stitch in or if I want to remove it. And I think I'm going to remove it because it's a little bit off center there. So this is my center line and that's where the um, thread is. I'm just going to pick it all up with my awl. I'm just going through the thread and picking it all out. I did not backstitch when I stitched these, so that makes this step really easy and fast. Then once I pick all of those out, that one should just come out. All right, now I'm going to straighten it all up again. I am going to make sure that I am at the right orientation and I am going to hold them together like this and I'm going to push it through my sewing machine. You do not have to go all the way from the top to the bottom. And 
and these I do backstitch because you do not want the thread to be coming out after years and years. Of Just trim the threads. I do not know where these threads came from, so just pull those out and get rid of them. So you can see the white thread pretty much disappears against the glittery background. So that's why I chose to just go ahead and sew these. You would be able to see a white thread going through the blue one. So I chose to make it a little bit cleaner with the stitching like this. But I think a stitch from the sewing machine down this would be just fine too if you prefer that. All right, so that is your ornament all finished. Here's the other one. So here your ornament's all finished. Really easy way to make some easy crafts. Well, relatively easy crafts for a craft fair. They're definitely eye-catching. They're small and stocking stuffers, so if people only have a couple of bucks to spend at your craft fair, then this is something that they can still get your full abilities because you can put any kind of paper, uh, recycled paper, uh, reclaimed paper, uh, handmade paper, fabric. You can put all sorts of different things on the inside. You can decorate the covers as plainly or as ornately as you want. You can put pockets. You can put all sorts of things in your different ornaments and you get to share your crafts with more people this way. So I loved this project. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am going to make another video where I show some different ways you can use your uh, ornament journals um, as ornaments on your tree and different ways you can fill in the pages on the inside. Thanks so much for watching this video. Bye!